Matusini takes pride in her culture. Dressing in traditional regalia has become her identity over the years. She was born in 1943 at Ross Mission near Tata. Growing up, Matusini used to hurt her father's livestock as a form of entertainment while at the field. At the age of nine, Matusini and other boys who were hurting livestock started making indigenous instruments to entertain themselves. The instruments, made out of wood and wires, are what have become Matusini's sound over the years. I made this myself. I started a long time ago. We made these ourselves while herding livestock in the field. You don't get this ready-made. You have to chop the wood and bend it yourself like this, and it turns into uadi or umkhobe. Then you take a small stick and play a song. The elderly woman believes one needs skill and creativity to be able to produce good music with the instruments. You can play mkhobe from here. This one is for the mouth. I'm just showing you that mkhobe sounds good when you play using lips. It also plays here. The real thing that controls mkhobe is this one, the lips as well. You don't need to use your teeth, only lips. Let me show you. Like many other artists, Madusin experienced challenges very early in her music career. While her love for traditional music was at its peak, something struck. She fell pregnant at a young age. She was barred from playing umkhube and uadi as these instruments could not be played by girls who gave birth out of wedlock. A girl who gets pregnant out of wedlock and the elders see that she's pregnant, they give her a big herd scarf to put on her head. She's no longer a girl now. She can no longer play umkhube. But the music bug caught up with her later in life years after being barred. When I came back to playing Umkhobe again, I was sleeping and I had a dream. I dreamed as if I was playing Umkhobe and I woke up and rebuked that dream as a nightmare. I slept again and I had the same dream. A man I was with told me maybe it was because my ancestors liked Umkhobe. I said to him, those ancestors should play themselves. Then I had the dream again. I had to get Umkhobe. Her talent was discovered in 1979 during the shooting of a movie called Makosa in Libode. One day they called all of us. They said everyone should come and showcase their talent. Those who could play flutes, accordion and other instruments. Others sang, others did traditional dancing. I played umkhobe and uadi. Then I showed to Vitandoni umkhobe, East Olotolo and uadi. After I played, then he called the white people he was with and they said I should keep them safe. Shortly after the film was shot, Matusini released her very first album, which included the famous song Utando Lupelile, a song she was taught by her mother. Never in a million years did she ever think she would make a living out of the instrument. She pays tribute to those who played a pivotal role in taking her music to the world. I never thought Mkhube would earn me some money and he begged me saying they would produce my album. So my first album was produced by Diza Plakis, Zwandile Kotoi and Lungile Katezuen. I was guided by them because I knew nothing about making an album. The 79-year-old composes her music based on her life encounters. Di 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 ti guan lele yo, 
I sometimes think, what am I going to sing in my song? I would say, my music comes randomly. Like the other day, I was broke and I was in Cape Town. I needed money to go back home, but I was bankrupt. So I sang the song titled, Andina Mali Yogu Her indigenous music instruments, Matusini, has traveled the world. She's been to countries like Sweden, Germany, Singapore, France, and Colombia, amongst others, and has many awards under her name. When I received my first award at UNITRA, I asked myself, what am I going to do with these bottles because I'm so busy? But eventually God opened my mind and told me to be happy for this because it meant that I'm going very far. However, reports have emerged that the artist has been exploited. God helped me by creating me like this because I would be unhappy. I don't know who exploited me and who didn't. I only accept what I'm given. All I know is that I grew up playing Umkhobe, Uhadi and Stolotol. I got nothing while I was looking after my father's livestock. So I told myself to be content where I am. Madison's wish is to be remembered for her love for traditional music. She hopes the younger generation will uphold her legacy and preserve indigenous music instruments. I wish people could learn these instruments and when they think about me, they must play them. However, I have come to realize that you may have passion for something, but if it is not God-given talent, then it is useless. God gave people a nobody to teach them these instruments and that person is Latozi Mpasheni Umatosi.